Karen Armstrong and welcome to my kitchen. I'm known amongst my family and friends as being the healthy chef. As a cancer survivor, 10 years ago, I discovered that nutrition made all the difference in my health. I was diagnosed at only 35 years old, and since then, I have been on a mission to find good and healing foods that are also delicious, and I wanna share one recipe with you today. This is chicken parmesan, all healthy. All right, let's start with some of our ingredients and why they're healthy and why you need them in your diet, and then we're going to get cooking, okay? All right, first we have the mozzarella cheese. The mozzarella cheese is high in calcium, vitamin D, and very low in fat. Next we have the spinach fettuccine. You always want to try to substitute anything white for anything with color. This has all the nutrients of your spinach and yet your carbs as well. Next we have the tomatoes. The tomatoes have been pureed with a little bit of oregano and a pinch of red peppers. Tomatoes are really important because it has an element called lycopene. Lycopene actually reduces prostate cancer, it's been shown in studies. It also is very high in potassium, it's an antioxidant, it has vitamin K, and it's from the fruit family. Alright, next we have the onion. The onion is a wonderful resource to help you lower your blood sugar as well as your cholesterol. Virgin olive oil is very high in your omega-3 and your omega-6. These omegas are very important for brain function. Next, we have the garlic. Did you know that garlic is actually a reducer for any inflammation in your body? So if you're dealing with anything like um, autoimmune disease, your garlic can actually help that to reduce the inflammation in your joints. Next, we have both of our spices, our lovely rosemary, which is so delicious and fragrant, and fresh basil straight from the garden. We have the Parmesan cheese, again, very low in fat, high in calcium and vitamin D. And then last, we have the Italian breadcrumbs. I'll give you the recipe for that the next time. But this, if it's made properly, is a wonderful resource for fiber. These are a simple ingredients, so let's get cooking. I love to use a lot of garlic in my meals. Not only is it good for you, but it just adds a tremendous resource of flavor. What you want to do is you want to break the garlic clove into pieces and then you want to peel the outer edge. I'm using a knife that's extraordinarily big, but um, that's what was clean and available. You always want to use different knives for your different ingredients so you don't intermingle the flavors unless it's necessary. Okay, here's a few of my cloves of garlic that are prepared and ready to go. Let's add our olive oil to the pan and then we'll get started. Many chefs like to actually grate their onion because it does release a lot of flavor, but what I found is that it also releases a lot of the juice. And I actually like to saute onions to where they're a little caramelized, and that way when I bite into them they're a bit sweet. So I just prefer it being a bit chunkier. But it's your choice. Okay, next we have our beautiful chicken breast. It is boneless, it also is skinless. It's healthier for you. Now there are two ways that you can Thin out your chicken breast so it cooks evenly. You can either use a rolling pin, a mallet, or if you're out of both of those, you can always use your bottle of wine. But I'm gonna use a rolling pin. All you wanna do is just roll over the chicken. Just try to get it nice and even. Or you can actually use your bottle of wine, watch. It's also beneficial if you have any anxiety during the day. Nice, even, and thin. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is add our olive oil to a very low heated pan. In the meantime, you can set your oven to 400 so it preheats for the chicken. I want you to feel very generous with your olive oil. This is all good for you, so there's no reason to even have to measure it out. If you do measure it out, throw a cup in there. Now, we're going to take our onions and our garlic, and we're going to lay it in here very evenly. So you're only going to be cooking these onions and garlic for about three minutes. You never want your oil to become smoky. You just want it to become shiny. Always keep it on a low heat. This is just a light simmer for these uh, beautiful delicacies. Okay, so 
So what we're going to do is I'm going to actually put these aside, and that way I don't have to dirty another pan. So let's just scoop these out. So now we want to bread our chicken. We're going to take our Italian breadcrumbs and lie them in a shallow bowl like this. Okay. Also, I love to add my Parmesan cheese with the um, breadcrumbs. This is freshly grated. It's delicious. Okay, mix it just together a little bit. Mmm, yummy. Alright, we also have organic eggs. Now usually you can get away with one if it's less chicken. We're going to go with two today just to make sure that we have plenty of coating. Scramble it up. Nice and smooth. I'm going to teach you a little trick. It's called wet hand, dry hand. You want to dip it with maybe your right hand. Keep your right hand wet in the egg batter, but transfer it to your dry left hand into the breadcrumbs. And that way you don't get too much of the egg mixture in there that makes it kind of soggy. Okay, in goes our chicken. Just light both sides. Let it drip off a little bit. Okay, and then transfer to the dry hand in the mixture. Nice and coated. Add some more of your olive oil to the pan that you just got done using. Now some of the flavor is still left behind from the onions and garlic, and this only uh, adds a little more flavor to your chicken as it cooks as well. What we're doing is we're just wanting to golden brown the outside layer of the chicken before it actually goes in the oven. Now remember, this is olive oil. It's all good for you. Okay, you only need to let this cook on each side for about woo, three minutes <laughs> until it's nice and golden brown, exactly like this. What we're trying to get is just a very thin crust on the outside before it goes in the oven to bake. See how it plumps up? Even after we thinned it out, it always plumps when it cooks. Another reason why you want to try to thin it out before it goes in the oven. Okay, we're going to blend the sauce as well as the onions and garlic together in a little saucepan. Just after a couple minutes that these flavors are blended together and nice and warm, we're going to put some on the bottom layer of our casserole dish. Okay, and then you take your chicken cutlet. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Right there. And you take your sauce. sealed by the mozzarella. So let's just cut some basil. This is how we do it. You always want to take off the stems. You can either pluck them off or personally, let's just cut them off right here. Put this aside. Take them together like this. Sponge them together. And just cut little pieces. Now, you do not need to cut your rosemary. 
Your rosemary is actually, I feel better if you leave it as such and that way people don't like bite into a stem. So let's just put your rosemary over the top here and over the sides. And then we're gonna seal it with the mozzarella cheese. Just sprinkle the mozzarella cheese over it. to the oven at 400 degrees for about 12 minutes. Okay, our chicken's done. Oh, it looks delicious. Gorgeous. sauce just so we can moisten it. So let's just lay some sauce right over the top. Not much because we're going to have a lot of sauce coming with the chicken. a red wine because there is resveratrol in red wine which is an antioxidant just don't go crazy have one glass with dinner that's it having more than one glass you lose the flavor of the wine just sip on it enjoy it it will actually help your digestion as well it's a perfect complement to a delicious meal so the next time you go to make dinner always choose healthy ingredients eat well be well to your health. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> I love it.